You've seen this scenario before, right? In a western film, someone is shot in a Mexican standoff. The person too slow flies backwards, except there is something very wrong with this physics. The momentum doesn't quite add up. Tiny bullets making large men fly through the air? Maybe if they fly fast enough, but how can we tell? Have you ever wondered what that has got to do with the moon? No, you should. Well, there's more to it. How much motion or momentum an object has depends on how fast it's moving, in which direction it's moving, and how much mass it has. The product of two vectors is called momentum, and it has a lot to do with both the moon and Mexican gunfights. So, when a big car crashes into a smaller one, momentum has a really weird property. It seems to stay the same. It doesn't even matter what happens during the collision. Any objects which combine or separate their motion exert the same force in opposite directions on each other for the same time. That means that the two objects keep the total of the momentum the same. The conservation of momentum is so important in collisions, scientists even think it's the reason you only see one side of the moon. That is totally weird. Why, if the earth spins and the moon spins too, do we only see one side of the moon? The answer is in momentum. When earth was forming, it was hot and liquid when a meteor smashed into it, separating it into two pieces, the earth and the moon. But, because the momentum of the Earth before the collision had to be preserved, the piece that came off still conserved the same spinning or angular momentum that it had before the collision. So, that means that the Moon stays spinning on its axis at the same speed as it orbits the Earth. It always shows the same face towards the Earth because it maintains the same angular momentum from the early separation of the two. Now, back to the scene from the western. If the bullet and the man maintained momentum, the man shooting the gun would have experienced the exact same effect on the other side. They both should fly, but they don't. Well, not like the movies show anyways. The bullet has the opposite momentum to the man holding the gun, so the gun is pushed backwards a little. Meanwhile, the poor man being hit by the bullet will collide with the bullet and the momentum of the bullet will be shared with him. So, there's no way that the two men can have totally different effects. See, momentum is everywhere, even the movies.